All right. We'll call to order the Committee on Legislative Matters meeting for May 9th, 2016. And Councillor Murphy, I'm chairing. Councillor Ryan O'Donnell is here. And Lee Scarra is here. And that's a quorum, so we're going to get going. Um, a motion on our minutes from April 11th. Approval. Second. Any discussion on it? We all good? All in favor? Aye. Okay, the first thing that's been referred to us is 16.025, an ordinance regarding parking on Center Street, and this was referred to the committee on February 4th. And uh, this came from transportation uh, parking, right? So you want to explain to us the uh, particulars of this? Yeah, actually, this is um, actually first came to the Transportation Parking Commission through the Chief of Police. Uh, concerns the space that is right next to the entrance. Right. And the chief of police um, informed us that it's difficult for emergency vehicles to get in and out of there, especially because they're often moving quickly. And so her hope was that it would be deleted uh, or removed. It's currently a 15 minute space. So this ordinance would remove that space and make the next one over a 15 minute space in order to preserve a 15 minute space. And I know there's been some back and forth because uh, we want to be cautious about removing parking spaces downtown, and there was some discussion about that in the Transportation Parking Commission, but ultimately um, someone moved the question, and um, it, it passed, I believe, unanimously, if I'm not mistaken. So. Any, uh, any discussion on this one? I, when I went and looked at it, it looked like there was plenty of room, even with the space there, even when we were in a hurry. But have, you looked at any, have you looked at it? Uh, yeah, I'm very familiar with this space. Um, and, yeah, I agree that, I mean, I, I feel like I have to take them at their word that if they're having a hard time with it, that we, that we want to make sure that it's easy to get in and out of the police station. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's also been discussion, you know, there used to be a spot farther, closer to Main Street, and more in front of First Churches. So there's some thought that maybe there's a possibility for replacing the spot somewhere along that stretch. So I think we're going to look at that next. Oh, okay. Good. Um, so with that discussion, is there a motion? I would move a positive recommendation. Second. Second? Right. Any? Just the three of us. So I have no more discussion. All in favor? Aye. And I guess there can't be anyone opposed if we're all in favor. So the next is 16061, an ordinance to establish two one-hour parking spaces in Florence on Main Street. And this came, oh, this came real recently. Uh, came here uh, last Thursday. So. And again, from transportation parking, if you want to tell us about yeah, this. This is just um, adding spaces um, uh, near the bank, um, near Chestnut Street. And it comes upon the recommendation of the Department uh, of Public Works. I know there's interest generally in that part of Florence among some business owners to add parking there. I think this was Mr. Rogers, wasn't it? I think that would certainly be some of interest. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, Seems to make sense, and it, it And DPW it. checked it, and there's room for them. Exactly. Yeah, it's measured by the DPW. Okay. Any comment? Uh, yeah. Then a motion. So I would move positive. Okay. All right. <coughs> no more discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. That one goes. And then the last thing on our agenda was an ordinance to add a yield sign at Ventureskill Road. That's sixteen zero six two. And that also came last Thursday. So again, um, your there, committee. There is a there is a yield sign of interest field road, so you know, we have that reality be reflected in the code. So we're just going to point out that it's already there. <laughs> it's very existential ordinance. I'm a positive recommendation. So are, the sign just wasn't supported by ordinance? Yeah, we, we know where the ordinances are in the code. So no, no ordinance for this one. It comes back because there was some discussion among residents about possibly adding a stop sign or some other traffic control device because it's a strange intersection of Montview and Henry and yeah, it's a little So there was some research done and we were just discovered that we should fix this little issue. Mm -hmm. That's all this is. Okay. So we the signs are there, we're just gonna back it up with yeah. with this. Yes, exactly. All right. Five and a All in favor? Solved. So now we are going to, um, I don't know what's your pleasure, do you want us to adjourn and then you can open the special council meeting because we're done with our agenda. Um, yes, why don't we do that? Okay, so we'll I don't, adjourn. Any? is there any business we did not anticipate? I don't think so. 
Any special announcements? Motion to adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. It's all yours. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Council of Balance. Excusing yourself. The um, this is an emergency meeting to set a date for an election. Uh, by the way, this is the it was announced. The city Council. This is a full city council meeting. Um, we have just barely one. Uh, but uh, this emergency meeting is in response to the recent resignation of Councilor Adams, and we need to set a date ASAP for a special election, which tentatively we're proposing will schedule on um, August 4th, which is a Thursday. Uh, we're required by charter to uh, establish an election 90 days from the point of resignation. The clock is ticking. The reason we're calling this is that the uh, clerk can't print nomination papers until an election date is established, and in the absence of that, then the nomination papers can't be, uh, uh, potential candidates have to get 100 signatures in a, in a relatively short period of time. Um, so we, that's why I called it for today, and I appreciate those of you who came in, those of you who are already trapped here, but I appreciate you all coming. So I'd like to um, call the roll to establish the meeting to establish a quorum first, so. Councilor Bidwell? Here. Councilor Carney? Present. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Here. Councilor LaBarge? Present. Councilor Murphy? Here. Councilor Sherrod? Here. All right. We have six members, which does qualify as a quorum, so I, we can convene. Um, I would um, invite someone to make a motion to, uh, to set and I'll set. This is the set. You want me to read it? Read it? Yeah, well, I was going to read it for you. It's a, this okay. is the set for uh, the calendar for a special preliminary election. And this is an order, by the way, and special election for an at-large council. Order that the special preliminary election for at-large city council will be held on Thursday, the eighth day of July, if it's if there a preliminary is necessary, 2016. Uh, the special election for at-large city council will be held on Thursday, the fourth day of August, 2016. So, motion and second. Discussion? Council Bidwell. You may have seen I raised a question. I imagine it's not possible. Yeah, I, I, my, I, my, my question, just for the record, was whether it might be possible for ex-councilor Adams to withdraw his resignation and resubmit it in August, which would be within the 90-day period leading up to an election that's going to happen anyway, thus saving the city the cost of an election. And I and I saw that, and there's two issues with that. One, I'm not sure we should check the law, but I don't think he, it's something he'd give us in. Um, but if that were even so, there still would be a cost of a special election because the general election is a different mechanism than they're not the same cost. It'll be more of a cost, obviously, with Still special have to be yeah. But there have to be separate ballots, and also, there's a number of things complicating this. And one of the facts is that you, for the general election, for the presidential election in the state of Massachusetts, you may now vote early. You may not vote early, however, for a municipal election. So there's going to be a massive confusion there. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other thing is, there's, as we noted, in the event that there are more than two candidates for this special election, there will have to be a preliminary to 28 days, which that's what's kind of scotched up the calendar here. <clears throat> and um, should that be necessary, that's also a citywide election. Um, the, the city clerk estimates costs uh, in the aggregate would be somewhere between thirty and forty thousand dollars. For two elections. Or for two, two elections. elections. For one, it'd be more around twenty-five to thirty, possibly. Just one. Yeah. At large city one. At large city one. There are a number of factors. This is occurring in the summer. It's in buildings and places that are actually already occupied or closed. There will be already has programs. We have to do significant shifting. There are also the challenge of trying in the summer to find enough poll workers to work. Um, there's a number of challenges, a number of challenges. Yes, and so to that extent, 
on your proposal, which I wish it were so, but if it took place during the, the general election, it would certainly make things less confusing and less complicated and, and less expensive. It's true. But as far as I know, I don't believe that Councilor Adams has the privilege of being able to revoke his resignation. It's pretty, it's final in so far as that. Yeah, we don't know. He may not want it. He may not want to, I think. No, no, I think. <laughs> yeah, he may not want to, but I mean, he would have to be voted. He'd have to be elected again. Now, okay, so <laughs> I understand about the special election. Once whoever gets in, whoever runs, say Ryan gets it, Ward 3 is open. Well, and you have that, to have an election for that. That that's not relevant to our conversation here, but I know that is yes. On the, on the uh, it, it, there is a possibility of another special election occurring as a result. I'll have to talk to Wendy about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there will. Anytime there's a vacancy, there has to be a special election under these same guidelines. If there's enough of the remainder of the term, more than 120 days remaining in the term, and that would be the case regardless. So, in this case, only four months into the term. Clearly, it has to be filled um, in order, yeah. and particularly it's an at-large seat, so it has it has a significant impact on the community. Council Yeah, I, 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 when I threw it out there, I, I imagined some of those technical well, it's, problems. It's worth that. But, but, you know, I think it was worth, worth exploring. Oh, no, I... So, 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 here, so here's another hypothetical. Let's just say uh, Councilor o, O'Donnell a current member of the council who decided to want to run for at large uh, were to themselves resign their seat in hopeful anticipation of mm -hmm. being elected, then it might be possible to have a special election for that ward and a special the election time. at large. At the same time, time. yes, that's true. We would be down two councillors at that point then. Right. Uh, which would complicate things. Terrible. We're damn close to quorum now, and it makes it harder on, on particularly on divided votes. We're coming into the budget season. It, I, I don't know, I'm not counseling Councillor uh, uh, O'Donnell, um, but from what I understand, the way he's proceeding is the way I would prefer that he proceed, as opposed to, I, I, I don't think, I would not feel comfortable being two councillors down going into the budget. I don't think, and I think the people will be underserved. Our job is to. Or three would be. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. that process. and, and no. so, he, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. I'm just, yeah. just no, no, just, but I understand your hypothetical, and believe me, it's it's not something mm -hmm. Pam and I and, and Wendy and, and the city solicitor, we've been, we spent many hours today just kibitzing about all the prospects and all the scenarios. Mind you, and I still have to get verification on this, and City Solicitor Seawald is um, seeking the counsel from the um, 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 Director of Elections. But we actually have to extend the period for which people can get signatures, at least based under the charter. It's, it wasn't specifically designed for special elections. It was designed for general elections. So the time frame doesn't work out for people giving candidates a reasonable time to solicit 100 signatures and turn them in in time to get them ratified. So we're actually going to um, extend that and appeal to um, the legislature, ultimately for ratification of this election, um, to extend that period to allow for a fair and reasonable opportunity for citizens who are interested in running for the office to make their... For you know, this time? For this time. At least at large it's frankly easier because I run for an at-large thing and anybody can sign those. You know, if you're running in your ward, you've got to go hunt up ward people, but, but large ones are a lot easier because anybody can Well, you recall, to run for a ward seat, it's you know, 50 signatures, yeah. and for city-wide, you need 100. Yeah. So I, I have my 100 well before I got my 50 because you have to go looking for people. Right, because well, everybody gives their papers out. And they're well, going the difference being, of course, and you should all know, is that no one knew this election was happening until today. So, and it's happening right now. If it provided, depending on this vote, my, well, I'm not going to presume. It's not done yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm not going to presume the okay. passing, but just so you understand that, that um, it's not like everyone was queued up and ready to go for this and researching, getting committees and all that stuff. 
this is a special election, which is has it's a different beast than the general election. And, yes. Papers come out tomorrow. Yes. On the channel. Papers will be available. And they have to be certified by the registrar. Right in by May 18th. Yes. If we're going by a special election, that's the date. Yes. Correct. That's when correct. is the special election? Well, the, the special election will be the, the full election be, would be August 4th. July 8th would be the preliminary if it's necessary. If, if more than three. two candidates, if more than two candidates apply, then we have to have a preliminary election that will be in July. July 8th. I thought it was three. Eighth. 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 Eighth of July. So, of August. August. so just Sorry. to clarify, papers will be available tomorrow, and then people have. Eight days to get exactly. Yeah. The way it was so before, so the papers will be due tomorrow. So, oh, I see. So you're extending it to the yeah. and, uh, It's absolutely impossible for someone to take out the papers and get 100 signatures <laughs> on the same day. That's just ludicrous. So, we're. Certainly, it would be unfair to people who didn't know there was going to be. Absolutely. Right. I, I, I wish, people an opportunity to run for this seat. Yeah. I right. wish the press were here, actually, to be honest. But um, I, do yeah, I know I Pam said notification for this, and it would be nice. So, so if we go through the legislature to change it, so when would that special election be, if we get the approval? No, we were, we're going to proceed with a special election, and then when you do have an election, the legislature has to ratify it. We're going to, they're going to ratify it with an, there will be an additional appeal saying we extended, um, we went beyond the prescribed timeline for signatures that were laid out into the, in the um, charter, because there's clearly a flaw in the charter. And so uh, I'm pretty sure they'll ratify it. At the same time, we're at some point to going to have to change that charter uh, language at some point, and that's something we're going to do after the fact. We're going to try and find what's the optimal way to conduct a special election. But, but how long is that going to take that you want to get that permission to change it? Well, they'll they have to ratify it in their timeline, whatever. I mean, they're, they're usually pretty quick, they'll pretty quickly ratify it. I don't anticipate any problem with that, but then we have to do charter change after that. And oh, here comes Solicitor Seawall because I told him this meeting was at 5:30, so he, he'll be able to actually answer some questions for you. He's making his way in now, but um, you, yeah, at some point in the near future, we will have to review the charter language and establish uh, a protocol for special elections going in. Solicitor Seawall is for the room. We we convened earlier than we expected, so ah. I'm giving the breakdown. But if you guys have questions for the solicitor, so so I, I assume we would, we would proceed. The clerk would print papers, distribute them in anticipation of legislative approval. Yes, we're going to yeah, proceed. Yeah, yeah. And that, actually, Alan was talking about the legislator the legislature approval of our modification for the extension of. Uh, Signature solicitation, and then afterwards, our our election gets approved by the state with that uh, with that uh, election. Uh, well, I mean, it's ratified. There's a ratification process if we'd like to have an informality or um, uh, a modification of the charter schedule ratified. We don't have to do that, but it's sort of a belt and suspenders approach, and the the date that we had discussed um, uh, modifying was the, was the time for the registrars to to review the uh, the signatures, which the clerk and the registrar told me they that's fine. They don't need more than a day or two to do that, and they've got two. Uh, it's prescribed two weeks, fourteen fourteen yeah. days for the whole city election. It makes sense for fourteen days, but for one one seat, they don't need fourteen days. So the proposal was. To, uh, to modify that timeline to add some of that time onto the time for uh, filing uh, nomination papers. Um, you know, it's, it's a balance. Do you, do you have a write-in election? I mean, that's really what would happen if you didn't do this. You'd have to have a write-in election because nobody would be able to have their signatures in tomorrow. 
So, and that, and that, and that, to that point, also, citizens should know, if anyone's watching this, that a write-in is still a possibility, but this is in order to get your name printed on the ballot uh, with certified nomination papers. Um, that was our concern, was we did not think it was fair to give, I, I still think it's pretty short time, um, regardless of, you know, where you're going to garner your 800, sig I mean, 100 signatures, but that's, that's a pretty short window. Yeah, eight days. But it is a special election, there is the rub. Right, yeah, and it is intended it's a special to be, election. it is intended to be a compressed, compressed time period. Right. And, yeah. with, with the intent of trying to make sure that a position, a representative position does not remain vacant beyond a couple of months. So, mm -hmm. so this is all new for us. This is the first time under the new charter. Um, there's clearly some fine tuning that we'll have to do. Uh, we didn't expect this, but I, um, I'm confident, uh, the city clerk is confident that she can pull this off without any difficulties. Um, and, and I hope that um, we get engaged citizenry for this one. I, mean, I don't expect to break any records, but the fact is I would love to and the mayor had no choice because when I talked with Wenda, she said the mayor guaranteed she had the funding. Yes, the funding will, she, she can't pull it out of her funding because we don't know what the full yeah. costs are going to be until the end. So the mayor will be coming to us at some point to um, mm -hmm. to make up that difference. Yeah, we'll consider like snow and ice. Well, luckily it didn't snow. It didn't snow, exactly. Yeah. All that money we saved on snow. All that money we saved on snow and ice. We could up for it. So, Bill, it's 25000 possibly, Pop. if one person runs? Citywide. That's the I know, thing. just because it's citywide. If, if, one, if one person or five, uh, two people run, it would be that. And if, it, if more than two ran, then you'd have to have a preliminary, and it could be another, um, between fifteen and 20000 So, um, there you have it. We, that, that, in, that does not necessarily include printing costs, that are going to be associated with printing up enough ballots, uh, the time. And, and mind you, the clerk's office is trying to deal with the general election at the same time, and may possibly deal, be in the next few months, deal with the worst case scenario, four to five elections. Four to five separate district elections. That cost doesn't include printing costs for ballots? I can, well, let me be, I don't think it does. I think that's what I asked. Wendy, and she said that doesn't include printing, it does include uh, some of the other extraneous costs to go with. So that's not a small cost for a city No. No. <sighs> so there you have it. So, um, any other questions for the solicitor, by the way, for this? Uh, yeah, th I mean, this is only tangentially related, but, but I, I, I got curious about this when the news broke and was looking at the charter. Can uh, if 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 an existing councilor chooses to run, it seems to be like the charter is silent on whether they first need to resign their seat. So I assume I assume they can they they can they can they can run without resigning their seat. There's no question about that. See, anything the charter that requires them to resign their seat until they're appointed to yeah. the at large yeah. position. Yeah. At that point, they yeah. Yeah, resign and be yeah. appointed. Can serve two seats at the same time. That charter does specify that. So if a councilor handed in a letter of resigning, but then all of a sudden changes his mind and says, no, I'm going to stay. They can't do that? No, you cannot do that. Once you submit a letter of That's resignation, he's, he's, a, he's a citizen at that point. He's a citizen now, and he'd have to run for re-election. So. And after the election, how long does the swearing in? That immediately. Nice immediately. Immediately upon verification of the, of the ballot, and the, the counselor, he or she is sworn in. And new clocks start ticking, but sure. Right. <laughs> so, but uh, at least there's only one polling station. Yes. Right. Save some right. money on that. So, um, all right, Ben. Um, any further discussion on this item? Uh, I'm going to ask for a roll call for approving this, please. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor LaBarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask for suspension of rules. Suspend rule 14. Um, that is to suspend rules to allow for a second reading in this meeting. 
All those in favor of suspending rules, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, I'll accept a motion for the second. Second, second reading. Second, second. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor LaBarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Sharon? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. That is, those two votes pass a uh, majority of the quorum and the election date for uh, August 4th, 2016 will be the general election. A preliminary, if necessary, will be July 8th, 2016, which is a Thursday. Thank you all for doing this. Oh. July 8th is a Friday. July 8th? I'm not going to be here. July 8th. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did we mean July 7th? July 7th. Did we? July 7th. We didn't want to do them on Fridays. Um, July 7th on a Thursday? July 7th is a Thursday. Well, uh, we're going to have to move to uh, we're gonna, uh, amend. Well, let me ask the solicitor. What's your recommendation? We You're just, talking about the preliminary election? Yeah, yeah I, I used the wrong 28. day. 28th. No, no, that's it's not the 28th. It's that was, uh, 28 days. Prior to the special election. election. Yeah, it puts it at the 8th. Yeah, it's the 8th. Yeah, the eighth. This, my, my copy says the 20th. Yeah, because yeah, it's a tight vote. Well, is there a problem with having it on that 8th, the Friday? Friday's a difficult time to hold it. <laughs> so what would be required to just... That's what I said. Now, what, I want to do this right. We just voted in the wrong date that didn't correspond with the day of the week. Um, so we rescind it? Do we vote to win? I would vote to amend. So well, we no, we have to reopen. Just the two votes on it. Right. It's final. I think you need to vote to rescind and then to re-vote it. I move to rescind the uh, the uh, special the election dated for July eighth. Yeah. Move to rescind. Second. Second. Councilor Second too. Um, okay. Any discussion on rescission? Rescinding. We're sending the entire order, actually. We're yeah. sending. All right, I'll vote to rescind the entire order. Okay. Um, that will require a call to let me know when you're ready. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Shara? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. <coughs> Councilor Dwight? Yes. I'll move to uh, set the date as. July 7th for the preliminary and August, August 4th for the general? Second. July 7th for the preliminary. The preliminary would be Thursday, July 7th. Thank you for catching that, by the way. Um, and Thursday, and Thursday August, August 4th. For the general. Yes. That would have been awful. So they're both on Thursdays? Both yes. on Thursdays. Okay. How come they're not on a Tuesday? We're trying to extend as much time as possible. Gotcha. We try to get as, I mean, even every two or three days, just yeah. to make it as long as possible. Friday the 13th, by the way, at one point was going to be one of the dates. So it's just, um, okay. Yeah. And the other, at one point, we were looking at July 5th, which would have been problematic too. Any other discussion on this? No. Roll call, please. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Shara? Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor LaVarge? Yes. Okay, suspension rules. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please aye. say aye. 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 Second. Second. All right. No further discussion? Roll call, please. Councilor Sherrill? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor LaVarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. All right. That passes by acclamation, and we'll the, the, the dates will be Thursday the 8th of July at the preliminary. 7th of July if there's a preliminary. God, God. Pam, we we're, were scrambling with the calendars. And then August 4th, Thursday, uh, 2016, will be the general election. Thank you all so much. Can I have an adjournment, please? All, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks for stopping.